You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. Starry Nights and Sunflowers, channeling Vincent van Gogh's passion uh, into art education. Discover how Vincent van Gogh's passion um, art passion can transform your art education curriculum. Explore lesson plans, masterpieces, and creative inspiration for educators and students. In the world of art education and education in general, the role of educators extends beyond, far beyond the classroom. It's about nurturing young minds, sparking curiosity, and providing a safe haven where knowledge and creativity can flourish. As we embark on this journey together, it's essential to recognize the remarkable dedication and unwavering passion that educators can uh, bring, that educators bring to their work each day. For all teachers, professors, and mentors who have embarked on the noble path of education, I want to extend my heartfelt appreciation. I understand that being an educator is not just a profession, it's a calling. Uh, it's a commitment to shaping the future one student at a time, and it's a labor of love that often goes unnoticed. In this podcast episode, I, my aim is to show that I deeply care about the needs and challenges, challenges and aspirations of educators like you, and I want to explore uh, how Vincent van Gogh's pa- uh, passionate pursuit of art can serve as a wellspring of inspiration for your journey in education. I believe that ch- that by channeling the fervor and dedication of this iconic artist, uh, I can help you invigorate your teaching, ignite your students' imaginations, and create a more profound impact on the lives you touch. So let's embark on this exploration together as we delve into the starry into the world of the starry nights and sunflowers not just as a celebration of art, but as a tribute to the timeless efforts of educators who bring the light of knowledge to this world. Vincent van Gogh, a brief overview. Vincent van Gogh is one of the most renowned and influential artists in the history of Western art. Born on March 30th, 1853 in Groot Sundert, apologize if I get this wrong, (laughs) a small village in the Netherlands. From a young age, it was evident that Vincent possessed a deep passion for art and an intense desire to capture the world's beauty through his unique perspectives. Uh, Despite his undeniable talent and determination, Van Gogh's life was marked by numerous challenges and personal struggles. He struggled with mental health issues, which often manifested in bouts of depression and anxiety. These challenges made his artistic journey all the more poignant as his art became not only a medium of self-expression, but also a therapeutic outlet. Vincent's artistic career began modestly, with him working as an art dealer and a preacher before eventually dedicating himself uh, fully to art in his late 20s. His early works were characterized by dark, somber tones and a fascination with depicting the lives of peasants and laborers. However, it was during this time in Paris that he was profoundly influenced by the Impressionist and Post-Impressionist movements, leading to a dramatic shift in his style. One of Van Gogh's most celebrated periods in his times Um, in Arles, France, where he produced some of the most iconic works such as The Starry Night and Sunflowers. His use of vibrant colors and bold brushstrokes and um, emotional intensity marked a departure from traditional art, giving birth to what is now recognized as a distinct Van Gogh style. Despite battling poverty and mental health issues, Vincent van Gogh remains prolific, producing over 2,000 artworks during his brief life. His art was not only a reflection of his inner turmoil, but also a testament to his unyielding dedication and passion for painting. Today, Vincent van Gogh's legacy endures through to his timeless artworks, which continue to captivate his audiences worldwide. His ability to infuse raw emotion to captivate audiences, um, uh, sorry, a raw emotion and a vibrant energy into his paintings has left an indelible mark on the art world, inspiring countless artists and art enthusiasts and create to, um, and art enthusiasts, pardon me. 
His life serves as a reminder that passion, perseverance, and creativity can transcend adversity and leave a lasting impact on the world. Exploring Van Gogh's Masterpieces Vincent van Gogh's artistic journey is marked by a remarkable evolution in style and a deep emotional connection to his subjects. His masterpieces, each a window to his soul, uh, continue to captivate uh, art enthusiasts and experts alike. Let's delve into some of the most iconic works and understand what makes them timeless. Number one is Starry Night, 1889. Perhaps one of the most recognizable paintings in the world is Starry Night, an exquisite portrayal of the night sky over Saint Remy de Provence. Van Gogh's use of swirling, turbulent brushstrokes and bold colors create a sense of movement and turbulence in the night sky. The swirling stars and sleepy village and the towering cypress tree all contribute to a feeling of both serenity and restlessness. Starry Night is a prime example of Van Gogh's ability to infuse ordinary scenes with extraordinary emotion. Number two, Sunflowers series, 1888 to 1889. Vincent Van Gogh's Sunflowers series is a testament to his fascination with the beauty of nature. These vibrant still life paintings depict bouquets of sunflowers in various stages of bloom. The intense Yellows and rich textures make the sunflowers seem almost three-dimensional, inviting viewers to appreciate their radiant beauty. Vincent van Gogh's use of color in this series is a testament to his ability to evoke emotion through his art. The Bedroom, 1888. In the bedroom, Van Gogh invites us into his personal space, revealing the simplicity and sincerity of his life. The room is depicted with clean, straight lines and vivid colors that convey a sense of comfort and stability. It's a departure of some of, from some of his more tumultuous <laughs> works and provides a glimpse into his longing for, peaceful sanctu for a peaceful sanctuary. Number four is Iris's, 1889. Irises is another example of Van Gogh's love for flowers as subjects. This painting showcases a riot of vibrant purple and blue irises against a green background. Van Gogh's brushwork in this piece is both precise and expressive, capturing the intricate details of the flowers while also conveying a sense of energy and movement. Number five, self-portrait with a bang bandaged ear, 1889. This self-portrait is a poignant reminder of Van Gogh's personal struggles. After a highly publicized incident in which he severed his own earlobe um, due to a uh, melancholy with a friend, um, uh, he painted this self-portrait with a bandaged ear. The intense gaze and the melancholic expression on his face um, reflect the inner turmoil that he experienced during his life. Exploring these masterpieces not only allows us to appreciate Van Gogh's artistic genius, but offers a glimpse into the complex and passionate soul of the artist himself. Each painting tells a story, not just of what is depicted on the canvas, but of the man behind the brush an individual who used art as a means to communicate his innermost feelings and leave an indelible mark on the world. Our education and inspiration. Our education is a profound journey that not only imparts technical skills, but also fosters creativity, self-expression, and a deep appreciation for the beauty in the world around us. It's a discipline that has the power to ignite imaginations of both educators and students alike. Vincent van Gogh's passionate pursuit of art serves as, the, as an extraordinary source of inspiration within the realm of art of education. And here's why. Expression through art. At its core, art education is about encouraging individuals to express themselves authentically. Van Gogh's art is a testament to the power of self-expression. His bold brushstrokes and vibrant colors and emotional intensity are an invitation to embrace one's inner creativity and communicate thoughts, feelings, and experiences through art. Number two, embracing imperfection. Vincent Van Gogh's works are a celebration of imperfection. He did not strive for photorealism. Instead, he embraced the beauty uh, in the imperfect. Imperfect. 
This philosophy can be a valuable lesson in art education. It teaches students that art is not just about perfection, but is also about conveying emotions, idea, and ideas no matter the medium or technique. Three, diverse perspectives. The breadth of Van Gogh's subjects from landscapes to portraits to still lifes reflects a diverse range of interests and perspectives. Our education encourages students to explore various subjects and styles, broadening their horizons and enabling them to find their unique voices in the world of art. Four, bold experimentation. Van Gogh's willingness to experiment with color and form in a lesson in is a lesson in daring creativity. Our education should encourage students to take risks, to push boundaries, and to explore the endless possibilities of their chosen medium. It's in this experimentation that true innovation often takes root. Connections, number five is connections to emotions. Van Gogh's art is deeply emotional and it captures the joy and the anguish and the sheer intensity of the human experiences. Our education can inspire students to connect with their own emotions and translate them into visual form. It's a therapeutic outlet that can help individuals process their feelings and tell their unique stories. Number six, appreciation of the senses. Vincent van Gogh's art awakens his senses. His use of color and texture engages the viewer on a visceral level. In art education, students not only learn to create art, but also to appreciate it in all its forms, um, enriching their lives by sharpening their observational skills and fostering a deeper connection with the world around them. As we delve deeper into the world of Vincent van Gogh and his art, we will explore how educators can infuse these principles into their teaching inspiring students to embrace their creativity, nurture their passion, and develop a lifelong appreciation for the arts. Van Gogh's art is not just a collection of paintings, it's a source of profound inspiration that can transform the way we approach education and life itself. Integrating Van Gogh's art into the curriculum. Incorporating the works of Vincent Van Gogh into the curriculum can be a powerful way to infuse creativity, culture, and emotional depth into the educational experience. Whether you're an art educator or a teacher in another subject, there are various ways to seamlessly integrate Van Gogh's art into your teaching. One, art appreciation and history lessons. Begin by introducing students to Van Gogh's life and artistic journey. Share the story of his passion, his struggles, and his unique artistic style. This not only provides historical context, but also fosters an appreciation for the artist as a person, making his art more relatable. Two, visual arts classes. For art educators, incorporating Van Gogh's techniques into lessons can be transformative. Study his use of color, brushwork, and composition, and encourage students to experiment with similar techniques. Assign projects where students can create their interpretation of Van Gogh's masterpieces, allowing them to explore their own artistic voices. Three, literature and creative writing. Van Gogh's letters to his brother Theo provide a glimpse into his thoughts and emotions. These letters can be used in language arts classes to inspire creative writing exercises. Students can imagine themselves in Van Gogh's shoes, writing letters or journal entries from his perspective, exploring themes like perseverance and artistic passion. Four, science and nature skill studies. Van Gogh's deep um, connection to nature is evident in his work. Science and environmental studies classes can explore the botany and astronomy depicted in his paintings. Discuss the significance of his use of colors to represent the changing seasons or the night sky. This interdisciplinary approach enriches students' understanding of both art and science. Five, social studies and history. Van Gogh's art also reflects the social and historical context of his time. History classes can analyze how his works capture the challenges and transformations of 19th century Europe, discuss the societal changes that influenced his art, such as industrial revolution, urbanized, and urbanization and the role of arts are of the artists in society. Uh, cross-curricular projects. Encourage cross-curricular projects that involve multiple subjects. For instance, students can create multimedia projects that uh, presentations that combine art, history, and literature to explore Van Gogh's life and art. Such projects enhance critical thinking and research skills while deepening their understanding of the artist's legacy. Seven, 
field trips and museum visits. Whenever possible, organize field trips to art museums and, or exhibitions that are featuring Van Gogh's works. Experiencing his um, art in person can be transformative experiences, allowing students to connect more intimately with the paintings um, and their historical context. And of course, if you can't find anything in person, always check online. Um, there's a lot of online virtual museum tours nowadays. So if you cannot leave the classroom or you don't want to <laughs> or if um there's nothing in the, your local community like for instance like i've never i have rarely seen van gogh's at in canada yeah, the my vocal gallery <laughs> so i get it so then i would show there's lots of virtual like so many different like met met and so many other different galleries nowadays the big ones who actually have the pieces. Um, they all do different um, virtual tours. I'd even look at the Louvre and see what they got. Um, integrating Vincent van Gogh's art into the curriculum not only enriches students' um, knowledge, but also fosters creativity, empathy, and critical thinking. It encourages them to explore the world through the eyes of the passionate artist. In doing so, discovering their own unique perspectives talent, and talents. Ultimately, it's an educational journey that transcends the boundaries of traditional subjects, offering a holistic and inspiring approach to learning. Encouraging creativity and self-expression. In the realm of education, one of the most precious gifts that we can bestow upon our students is the freedom to be creative and express themselves authentically. Vincent van Gogh's art, with its bold strokes and vivid colors, serves as a profound um, source of inspiration for encouraging creativity and self-expression uh, in learners of all ages. Here are some strategies and insights on how to nurture these essential qualities. Embrace imperfection. One of the fundamental lessons from Van Gogh's art is that imperfections can be beautiful. Encourage students to let go of the fear of making mistakes and embrace the process of creation. When they realize that art doesn't have to be flawless, it liberates their creativity. Two is to provide a safe space. Create an environment where students feel safe to express themselves without judgment. Make it clear that there are no wrong answers in art. By fostering a non-judgmental atmosphere, students are more likely to take risks and explore their creativity, creativity freely. Three, encourage experimentation. Van Gogh's willingness to experiment with color, form, and style is a testament to the value of trying new things. Encourage students to step outside their comfort zones, whether it's through different art mediums, techniques, or subject matters. The process of experimentation often leads to unexpected and exciting discoveries. Four, explore emotions. Van Gogh's art is emotionally charged and this aspect of his work can be a powerful catalyst for discussions on feelings and emotions. Encourage students to express their emotions through art, whether it's joy, sorrow, anger, or other sentiment. Art becomes a healthy outlet for processing and communicating their inner worlds. Five, connect with nature. Van Gogh's deep uh, connection with the nature is evident in many of his works. Take students outdoor for, outdoors for plein air art sessions where they can draw inspiration from the natural world. Encourage them to observe and interpret the beauty of their surroundings through their unique artistic lenses. Six is to promote individuality. Every student has a unique perspective and voice. Encourage them to find their artistic identity rather than trying to replicate someone else's style. By promoting individuality, you empower students to express their thoughts and ideas in ways that are authentic to them. Number seven, reflect and share. Create opportunities for students to reflect on their own work and the work of their peers. Discussing and sharing the, their art helps students art, articulate their thoughts and feelings, strengthening their self-expression and communication skills. It, offers a, it also fosters a sense of community and collaboration. Eight, provide inspiring role models. Share stories about artists like Vincent van Gogh who faced challenges and found solace and purpose in art. Learning about the struggles and triumphs of famous artists can help motivate students to persevere in their creative endeavors. Number nine is celebrate the process. While it's essential to appreciate the final product, it's equally important to place importance 
on the process of creation. Encourage students to keep sketchbooks or art journals where they can experiment, sketch, and document their creative journey. By encouraging creativity and self-expression in education, we can empower students to become more confident, imaginative, and self-aware individuals. Vincent van Gogh's passionate approach that, um, to remind us that every stroke of the brush is an opportunity to reveal our inner worlds, um, and it is through this revelation that we foster a deeper connection with ourselves and the world around us. Encouraging a growth mindset. In the world of education, cultivating a growth mindset among students is a transformative uh, approach that can empower them to embrace challenges, persevere through setbacks, and ultimately achieve their full potential. Vincent Van Gogh's own journey as an artist provides valuable lessons on how to foster this growth mindset within the classroom. Well, first is embrace mistakes as learning opportunities. Van Gogh's art was filled with experimentation and he wasn't afraid to make mistakes along the way. Encourage your students to view mistakes as stepping stones to improvement rather than as failures. Emphasize that every error is a chance to learn and grow. Two, effort matters. Van Gogh's dedication to his craft was unwavering despite numerous obstacles. Teach students that effort and perseverance are key to success. Highlight the importance of practice and hard work in developing their skills and achieving goals. Three, encourage a positive inner dialogue. Help students become aware of their self-talk. Encourage them to replace negative thoughts like, I can't do this, with more positive, constructive statements like, I can learn how to do this with practice. Self-belief is a powerful driver of growth. Number four, celebrate progress. Instead of solely focusing on final grades, or achievements, celebrate the progress students make along their learning journey. Acknowledge their efforts and improvements, no matter how small, to reinforce the idea that growth is continuous. Five, foster a safe environment. Create a classroom environment where students feel safe to take risks, ask questions, and express themselves. When students feel supported and unafraid of judgment, they are more likely to embrace challenges and pursue their passions. Six, set realistic expectations. Help students set realistic, expect, uh, realistic and achievable goals. Encourage them to break down larger tasks into smaller manageable steps. This allows, students, allows them to experience success at various stages in their journey. Seven, showcase resilience stories. Share stories of individuals, including Van Gogh, who faced adverse, adversity, adversity and setbacks, but persisted in their pursuits. Hearing about resilience of famous figures can inspire students to overcome their own challenges. Eight, peer support. Promote a culture of collaboration and peer support in the classroom. When students work together and provide constructive feedback, they learn from one another's experiences and develop a sense of community. Nine, teach the power of yet. Encourage students to add the word yet to their vocabulary. For instance, instead of saying, I can't do this, they could say, I can't do this yet. This simple shift in language implies that growth and improvement are possible with effort. 10. Be a role model. Model a growth mindset by demonstrating your only willingness to learn and adapt. Share your own challenges and successes, and let students see that even educators continue to grow and develop. By fostering a growth mindset, educators can equip their students with not only the skills and knowledge they need to succeed, but also the resilience and determination um, to face life's challenges head on. Vincent van Gogh's relentless pursuit of his art serves as a poignant reminder that growth is a continuous journey. With the right mindset, there are no limits as to what can be achieved. Conclusion. As we conclude this exploration of Vincent van Gogh's passion and its relevance in education, I hope that you're inspired to foster creativity, embrace a growth mindset, and encourage self-expression among your students. Van Gogh's life and art are a testament to the transformative power of dedication, resilience, and the boundless potential that resides within every learner. Remember that the journey of education is a collaborative one and there are valuable resources available to support your efforts. To access engaging our lessons that align with these principles, visit the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store or TPT store at teacherspayteachers.com forward slash store 
forward slash Ms. Dash Artastic or when you go to teacherspayteachers.com, simply search Ms. Artastic in the search bar. You can also take your educa art education to the next level by joining the Artastic Collective Art Curriculum at www.artasticcollective.com. These resources are designed to inspire, educate, and empower both, art educa both educators and students alike. Thank you for your dedication to nurturing the minds and spirits of the next generation. Together, we can continue to unlock the potential for creativity and growth in every learner, just as Vincent van Gogh did in his pursuit of art.